everybody. Welcome to the Isara Repairapalooza part two. And this episode got COVID. So <laughs> let me explain. No, I didn't get COVID, but literally everyone around me got COVID. You remember those days? So what happened was I drove up to Oregon and I was all ready to do the repairs and do another weeks of work. And I did figure out one thing with one leak, but then, well, let me show you what happened. Okay, so I know I totally didn't film what happened with that fix, which I think the footage was really dark anyways, but I mostly or completely fixed the leak up there. I just checked it and it's bone dry, super exciting. So I was expecting to check the bilge and it to be totally dry, of course. And I wake up with that. I am pretty sure it's coming from the shower. There is the shower pump, but there's also a, just a drain that drains above the shower pump. I did just turn on the shower pump. I can't tell if there's more water. Um, the water definitely looked like the shower water. Hard to say exactly, but I think that's where it came from in terms of figuring things out, it's good news. So I can dry this out a little bit and get going. All right, so I've been working on the boat. I didn't take any video at all whatsoever, but um, everything's a mess. I have to go into work. Uh, everyone is getting coronavirus. Um, the uh, Omicron seems to be taking over, so I hate leaving the boat like this, but <clears throat> I just gotta get on the road get over the pass and this is what we do for love. I made a funnel here since this has been leaking, although I believe that um, since we put some butyl tape there, I think it actually has already fixed it. But just to be safe, since I may not be back for a long time, let's just do that and then this bolt up here has been leaking and behind the plastic you can see the discoloration on the door but anyways uh, here we go that should lead the water there I think I may put something here just to kind of push that out a little bit but otherwise I think we should be good to go on that one so there we are time to leave the boat Okay, yeah, so basically I arrived one day and then I got a call from my main opening manager who opens for 30 employees. She basically, she could barely speak. She was so sick with COVID. Um, then I found out my other, well, my other main manager was actually uh, out of the country. So he was out of the picture. Ironically, he had gotten COVID in a different continent, uh, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, my second or my third manager, I guess you could say, she was out with COVID, so I had to pull somebody else out to help out. In the meantime, I'm checking the weather. I found out that there was a snowstorm over Grants Pass in Oregon, which I would have to traverse coming back, but I still plan to come back the next day. So after unloading everything from the truck to the boat, the next day I packed up everything and went back home. But while I was home, I received an uh, interesting bit of communication and, uh, well, I'll show you. So, update on delivering Isara from Scapoose, just north of Portland, to the Bay Area uh, near San Francisco. I talked to this guy, uh, I'll just say I found him online, uh, and he seemed like a pretty awesome guy. Uh, we had the tentative delivery planned uh, back in like November. Um, couldn't get to that because, you know, I had to do all the standing rigging and uh, let alone some other fixes. So we said, okay, we'll wait until, you know, sometime in the spring. Uh, I started, the date that I wanted to go started getting closer. I started co contacting the guy. 
Uh, he didn't respond for, I don't know, well over a week. Finally did when I contacted his crew and said, hey, I haven't heard from this guy. And then I found out he said that he had some family issues, so that's uh, too bad. Then he was like, well, maybe this, my crew, who is also a licensed captain, he's a 50-ton licensed captain, plus I believe a former diesel mechanic, you know, he, he might be able to do it. So I actually met, and then in the middle of that, I got my best friend back from high school, agree to help. He was actually really excited to help take it down, so we scheduled a Zoom call, um, and it was great. We had it all kind of penciled out, you know, yeah, let's meet on May 21st, and, you know, we set the date for when we wanted to go, uh, and... Then literally, I think it was like later that day, uh, or right after that anyways, the original captain was like, hey, what's going on with the boat? Maybe I can help you sail it down if it's next month, which of course it is next month. And he also said that he sent the old contract to this guy. Um, so the next day I get a message from captain number two, kind of curt message that said, uh, sorry, I'm not, or not, no, no sorry in there, of course. Uh, I'm not going to be able to help bring your boat down. I have personal scheduling stuff till, you know, for the next month and a half or something like that. I always had the plan that if, if that, if those guys didn't work out, then I was going to get, put together my own crew. And, um, by the way, mom got me this jacket <laughs> for Christmas, so thank you, mom. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Basically, long story short, or I guess pretty long, sorry about that, but uh, I guess I'm just wanting to vent. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to do it. I'm going to try to make it my voyage. I'm using another online website. I'm starting to vet people. Uh, my friend is still committed to doing it. Uh, he's a bit of an adventurer. Uh, buff like me. Uh, he also owns a company. Um, of course, his is probably cooler, like it's a tech startup type thing in San Francisco. Um, you know, but um, I actually helped to deliver his Catalina 22 that he bought. I think it was like a similar year as mine, like a 70 something. He bought it for 1600 bucks, and then I think the outboard ended up costing him more than the boat because he bought a brand new outboard. And we almost died. We almost got run over by about a 40 foot fast sailing boat in uh, San Francisco. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> so we, we've done a, at least a little bit of sailing together on the bay. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be Alma, myself. Uh, tomorrow I'll be talking to people, interviewing people, and hopefully we'll put together a good crew. Uh, Amber is not able to go because, uh, well, she probably will not be able to go. Number one, she doesn't like the cold. Number two, uh, she'll probably be on call. So, um, that's the plan. I'm gonna go up tomorrow. I don't even know how many times I've driven up. I've driven up so many times. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna drive up tomorrow. Uh, the priority is just the final finishing touches, but install the alternator, uh, secure everything. Um, if I have time, install the inverter. The second inverter, I already have a 2000 watt that um, just has a temporary hookup direct to the battery and not actually hooked up to the wiring, but we could use it if we needed to. Um, I do believe it's installed safe because it's floating all on its own. Uh, so, but the new inverter that I have has the proper uh, transfer switch uh, for neutral to ground bonding uh, when it's uh, under invert mode and then shore power grounding in charge mode. So uh, then a few bits and pieces there. Um, Sorry, my arm is getting really tired here, <laughs> holding this thing up. So yeah, that is the plan. Um, we'll get going and hopefully put this team together.
All right. All right, guys, so there you go. We are gonna deliver this boat on our own. So I did hire a weather router, uh, Andrew, uh, based out of Oregon, I forget his last name, but uh, he's really great. And that's gonna help give me not only the confidence, but also just a, a third party perspective for weather and weather routing. So we're getting the whole plan on the road here. We're getting really close. I think maybe one more trip up there will finish all the projects that we wanna get uh, before we do this delivery. And keep in mind, this leg of the trip from Oregon down to San Francisco, this is gonna be more of a delivery. So it's not gonna be a pleasure sale or, or a cruise. There's not gonna be any bikinis in there like all your famous YouTube channels. And speaking of, I know that the video quality has been really rough. I didn't really have a plan of making some YouTube channel when I was filming these videos, if you couldn't tell. But that's another reason why I wanna get through these episodes really quickly because we have so much more exciting stuff uh, for not only this uh, delivery down, but after that, we have some incredibly exciting news. So thanks so much for all of you who've subscribed and watched, really appreciate it. And it's been really cool to see the comments and everything. And uh, yeah, if you're not already subscribed, then please do so if you'd like to follow, if you wanna follow our journey. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Ciao.